This is problem number one for section 2.4. And this problem it says, find the slope of the curve y equals x cubed minus one at the point p, negative one, negative two, by finding the limiting value of the slope of the secants through p. Find an equation of the tangent line to the curve at point p, negative one, comma, negative two. So we've done many problems like these before. They're wanting us to use the uh, definition of uh, finding slope with a limit. So they're gonna ask us to find for part A, they want us to do limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And they want, it, want us to use this to find the slope of the secants through p, which would be just this portion of it, and then take the limit as h approaches zero to find the actual tangent slope, and that tangent slope we're gonna use to find the tangent line. So long story short, start with this equation, or this uh, expression, plug x plus h into the function, which we have is the x cubed minus one, and start to uh, work the algebra. So this is gonna equal ditto, we're gonna plug in x plus h into the function, so we have x plus h cubed minus one, it says minus the function, so minus uh, f of x is just x cubed minus one, and that's all over h. Now over here to the left, we need to evaluate x plus h cubed, and that's equal to x plus h times x plus h times x plus h, <clears throat> which when we multiply that, we get x times x is x squared, x times h is xh, and h times x is also xh. h times h is h squared. So when we multiply the first two, we get this here. When we multiply the second two, or the, then when we uh, combine like terms, and then we need to multiply it times the second x plus, or the third x plus h. So x squared plus two xh, plus h squared times x plus h. x squared times x is gonna be x cubed. x squared times h is gonna be x squared h plus two xh times x is two x squared h. Two xh times h is plus two xh squared. h squared times x, that'll be plus x h squared and then finally h squared times h is plus h cubed. Let's combine some like terms there. We get x cubed plus this will be 3 x squared h when you combine this with this plus 3 x h squared combine these two together plus h cubed. All right all this equals x plus h cubed. So we're gonna take this and plug it in here. So we end up with ditto, x cubed plus three x squared h plus three x h squared plus h cubed minus the one minus x cubed when I distribute the negative to each term plus one because negative times a negative all over h. Let's cancel some stuff out here. We got x cubed canceling with negative x cubed, negative one canceling with one, and we're left with just those three terms on top. So we have ditto, uh, three x squared h plus three x h squared plus h cubed all over h. Factor out an h from each term. h parenthesis, three x squared plus three x h plus h squared all over h. We cancel the h's and we're left with the limit as h approaches zero of three x squared plus three x, I'm gonna plug in the zero for this h plus the zero for this h. So we end up with just three x squared for our expression.
Now for part A, they want us to find the slope of the secant, so that means we gotta keep going here. I'm gonna drag this up and say we're finding the slope again at point negative one, negative two. So slope at this point. Take negative one, plug it in, so m equals negative one. Oop, don't wanna say that. m equals three, negative one squared. Negative one squared just ends up with a slope of three. So this is our solution for part A. That's our slope at the point. So this is the slope at the point, P negative one, negative two, for that function there, X cubed minus one. Part B then, we wanna find the tangent line. So we take the slope, put it into Y equals, and we're finding the tangent line, I better write that. y equals 3x plus b. Um, and we'll say at point negative 1, negative 2. So let's plug that in. We get negative 2 equals 3 times negative 1 plus b. Negative 2 equals negative 3 plus b. Add the 3 over. We get 1 equals b. So the equation is y equals 3x plus 1. And this is the tangent line. 